We've never run a presidential primary in March before. This is brand new. Secretary of State Matt Dunlap's phone was ringing off the hook on primary day. We had people on the phones all day long trying to troubleshoot some of these emerging issues, and largely we were pretty successful in doing it. Initial estimates say voter turnout was higher than expected. How high is hard to say without official numbers. It could very well be that our turnout was somewhere between 40 and 45 percent. That led several polling places across the state, including the Expo and East End School in Portland, to run out of ballots for the Democratic primary. Leaving the Expo around 9, Dylan Pugh says he waited about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Wow. He was registered, enrolled, and ready to go, but his change of address put him in a long line with a surprising number who were registering or enrolling. Well, I think, first of all, it's really important. It's, you know, it's your civic duty, and I think it's one of the rights that we have to sort of protect as much as we can. Something that may have been fueled by the hotly contested Democratic race. And I think what that did is it kind of crystallized the choices for a lot of folks and narrowed the field so that now you had starker choices and people began to rally behind the remaining candidates. But Dunlap says even that is speculative until they get the whole picture. What can't wait, however, is any problem that kept an eligible voter from having their say. No is never the answer. You know, when you're talking about people's ability to participate in their democratic process, our job is to find a way to make it happen. We are incredibly lucky to have the services of our local election officials. ...to submit their final numbers by Friday evening to the Secretary of State's office. They will then certify the results within 20 days. Live in Portland, Joe Glauber, WMTW News 8.